Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his. The Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane, united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burg Castle. Se Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory. And fight with the same extra courage he showed! For us, for us, for us. Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. Eivor! Word of your actions in Thaevorn has spread like wildfire. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here may come to pass. Dreams, life, maybe they are one and the same. Tonight, I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear dome. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Bring yourselves. Good ship's name. We'll see us coming. Uh... Steady! Hold course! Bring yourselves to the bracemen! Then we can ride to our enemies! Oh, nice! They greet us in the summer of the realm from the air! <laughs>
Get that ram in place. We need to open these gates. Good, that glorious ram for you. You and Starks are all barred. Prepare to cut them down. Fool. So 
this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize. Come and get him. Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, if you will still have me, that is. 
And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you. And now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. You look good, Oswald Powell. Do I? Because I'm nervous as... Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife. And as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. Done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, 
and forget our pain! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target Even they up. strike. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this. Yes, that's it. As with everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is... A metal not unlike... Not bad, wolf kissed. A fool's weight. A challenge not... I will drink you on... <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver... I accept. Skull! Oh. Is that what you say? Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Drink more. Skull! 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 Strong, but I am stronger. <laughs> I stronger than me. You drink as well as Valdis. Now that speaking of payment, here. Look there, Pinner on the roof. The road to Valha. The boar represents fertility, did you? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that... Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Sheath your plow sword, Brodeer. I'm not interested. Uh, you, you don't... No. <laughs> no. I wasn't serious. Come on now. Drink and be merry. Well, I had a few, friend. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! The road to Valhalla does not run that way, Finir. He's been out there on... <laughs> Eivor! Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mist. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. 
But one day it will be eaten by... Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wish. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Come on. Let's get you to Sully. I have... You're very strong. You're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one... It need not be the last. Not the l Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony, so... And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Friends, through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? I'm not one to bask in the glow of another's triumph. But I'll say this, East Anglia is safe. Under his protection, under his guidance, under his wing, the good King Oswald will keep you safe for many moons to come. To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all! My king! <laughs> the sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald! King of sheep fuckers! Show your eyes! I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and the king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. You always getting in the way. East Anglia can burn for all I care. I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What's done is done. You're leaving now? I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. 
Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day, I will need you to make good on that alliance. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce! Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my thing. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Yours. Do not roll on. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting. In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee the... You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this... A filly, what? I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing! Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger. And for when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear- Eivor, 
You have known me as a scald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. Too often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis' walking stick, Tovi's inks. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleep! Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required that I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no! I needed something gentler to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so... You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking... It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must... Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. El Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a vic- It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. Keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? Oh, hello, Eivor. That Holger, he is quite... I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't the... Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need... East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at this burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. There was so much we were meant to do. Tovi. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was... Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleep. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come, and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to... T Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, 
determined. That must have been punishing. But you are... Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me. So I live it. I know Sven believed in you. In your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. I am sorry I was not here to see you off, old friend. Landry, are you well? I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, and this settlement... I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responses. We could take a ride. To Grand Bridge, or somewhere nearby. For a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe at now. What was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grand... Do you mean now? R of course. You said you were tired of all this. So why not stretch your legs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandjabritshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. <laughs> really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grantlebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Here we are. We should make our way to the longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems <coughs> quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interest... It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. 
One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping trade. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. <laughs> The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. But I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right, stay close, and do as I do. Move and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. Feel great. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Ha <laughs> ha. 
We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! Your horse is outside. Thank the court she is safe. Yeah. She is here somewhere. Eivor, Whoa. over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined? What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Ranvi, we can do better than... T Mead Queen, then. All right. Beautiful. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Huh. Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and I will sound it with pride. Some of our described this tower for me. A desolate yet beautiful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally done. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? 
You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? Innocent as a newborn no. baby. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randy. If you must. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at the map, I imagine people traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. 
married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Yomsvikinga, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. Hill together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. I can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. It may be the meat. It may be the air, but... <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I am honored by your feelings, Randvi. But I value you as a friend. I hope that... Of course. Thank you. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Good day, Eivor. Eivor. Randvi, why did you leave? We could have, but I was... Restless. And you do snore a little. Like... <laughs> That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank and you for yours. Now, shall we get back to... I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifertshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenifordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. <laughs> 